When it comes to creating graphical applications, especially for the Linux operating system, you know, you're typically going to create either a GTK app or a Qt app, a Qt app. And those particular toolkits, they're fantastic. You can do practically anything you want with them, but they're a very complicated, deep rabbit hole to go down. Uh, you're going to have to be very comfortable with whatever programming language you choose to create your GTK application, for example. Uh, it's going to involve a lot of work. Typically, for example, when you write, for example, a bash script that does something, you can do that in a few minutes to create a graphical application like a GTK application to do the same thing your simple bash script does usually involves 10 times the work maybe a hundred times the work as far as time invested to create that graphical application that basically does the same thing as like a command line application that's why for somebody like me that you know I don't like wasting time these days, I tend not to create a lot of graphical applications because I just do, you know, simple command line applications or if I'm going to do something. I'll create something using a fuzzy finder or D menu or Rofi. But, you know, I, I'm working on the latest edition of DTOS, which is my Linux distribution based on Arch Linux. And I wanted to create some graphical applications. I think most people expect a Linux distribution, for example, to have a welcome application. When you first log in for the first time, you know, what is this distro about? Give me some basic information. Uh, go ahead and allow me to set some various basic settings for this Linux distribution. So I created a welcome app for DTOS. This is the DTOS welcome application. And what this is, this is a GTK app, but I did not actually create it using like standard GTK programming. What I did is I used a tool called YAD. YAD is Y-A-D, yet another dialog is what YAD stands for. It's basically a uh, old fork of the old Xenity program. I'm sure you guys remember Xenity dialog boxes. You probably used other dialog type programs. In the old days, I remember XMessage was another kind of similar dialog program where you could pipe something into these programs like Xenity, or in this case, YAD, and it spits out a very nice looking GTK application for you. For those of you that want to check out some documentation on YAD, the good thing is there is this fantastic website, this YAD guide, that is basically a book. It's got various chapters. Just go through it, and there are a million different ad style windows as far as it doesn't necessarily have to be your standard dialog box you know you can get things like calendars and you know progress bars uh, it even has the ability to do things like run launchers about dialogues as far as you guys know like on every program typically if you go to the menu system there will be an about entry and you can get about information for that particular program well since you're going to do that with pretty much any program yeah it has a really nice simple way to add for example like an an about dialogue a matter of fact let me go ahead and show you some of this at the terminal typically these yad scripts they're going to be proper scripts you're going to write a bash script that invokes yad and gives it various flags and options but i'm going to show you a little bit of the basics of yad just strictly using like one line commands here at the shell so we were just talking about yad and and the about dialog well you could do yeah dash dash about and you do that with no other flags or options you get an example yad dialog this is actually about yad right you get uh, yad is the title the version of yad what it's based on and a little description you get its copyright you get its licensing information you get credits you know who created yad and then the close button but that is because we didn't give it any other flags or options i can actually change all of this information to information appropriate for my about information. So I can change the title, version number, licensing, link to the website, all of that if I want to. So let me up arrow and I'm going to give it, you know, some information here. I'm going to do image equals GTK dash about. It's just going to be one of the standard images on a system. It's the about icon. And then with this particular kind of YAD dialog, which is the about dialog, you want to do dash dash P name for program name. And we'll say DT's app. And if we just leave it there, you can see we get this new window. Now all we get is 
the icon, the image, and we get the title, DT Zap, the program name, and then of course you still get the close button. But there are a ton of flags I can give the about dialog. There's about, you know, 12, 15 different things we can set. So let me give it, you know, a, a full list of things that typically you would see in a about window. So we're gonna do yeah, dash, dash, about. That's the style of the window. Once again, I'm gonna set the image, I'm gonna set the program name to DT's app, but this time I'm gonna give it also P version. So the program version number, in this case, I'll call it a 1.0, and then dash dash comments is a description of your app. Dash dash copyright is the copyright information. If you wanna add a copyright to it, dash dash license is what license is this license under. I'm gonna say GPL3 and it's gonna display a little bit of information about the GPL3 license. And then dash dash authors, I'm gonna say there's two authors, DT and TD. And there's several other flags to these about dialogues you could add, but I'm just gonna stick with these. And if I do that now, you know, I get this. And you can see all of the information I added is here. The licensing information, GPL3 expands to this line here, including a link to the GNU GPL version three, so you can actually read the license. And if I click on credits, that's where you will find the authors you will see created by DT and TD. And let's close the window. So let me clear the screen here. Now, if I go back to the YAD documentation, the YAD guide here, this particular website, there are many, many different styles of windows other than the about dialog. And I would say the about dialog is not one that you're likely to play with as far as it's not the most useful of these. I'm gonna cover a few of these different dialog boxes just to give you a brief overview. One of the ones you'd probably wanna play with is YAD dash dash app. And this is your uh, desktop entry list. It lists all the desktop programs on your system. Now, if I clicked on one of these, for example, NeoVim, it doesn't do anything. It returns the name of the applications, the, the binary name, right, NVim, but it doesn't do anything else. Of course, you need to script this in such a way, you, you need to add more flags and options to this to make this app window do whatever it is you want to do. Maybe you want to use it as a run launcher to actually execute those programs, or maybe you wanted to do something else. I don't know, but you could you, you can actually turn this into a full-fledged run launcher like a, a D menu or a Rofi if you wanted to, or you could do something else with this. So really neat little thing that you can do with Yad. It also has dash dash uh, calendar for a different style of box. This just returns your calendar and you can go through the months or the years, you know, pick a date, you know, click OK. By default, it's just going to print out the date. But again, you give it more flags and options, kind of like we did with the about dialog, right? And you could actually turn this calendar into something where when you click the date, it actually does something, right? Gives you a chance to maybe write a note about that date or, you know, it, it'll do something with that information other than just giving me the output as far as just the date I clicked on. Now, one really neat form of application you can create with YAD is dash dash notification. If I just do this, you won't see it because I don't have a sys tray on the monitor I'm recording. I do have a sys tray on my far left monitor. You guys can't see it, but it just created a little icon there. And it just, when I hover over it, gives me a, a little a hint of what the application is. It's a YAD notification window. Clicking on it does nothing. Actually, it kills the program. So it actually creates an icon in my SysTray. Now that is really cool because now I can actually create a SysTray application, which is something I know a lot of people sometimes ask about. Hey, I want to create a application, but I don't want it to be a normal application that's a window that floats around on the screen. I need it to sit in a sys tray. Well, you can do that with YAD notifications. Matter of fact, if I give it all of these flags here, what this will do, it will create a YAD notification. The image will be the update icon that's, you know, typically on programs that are updating the system often will be set to this style icon. Dash dash text is going to be, when I hover over it, 
give me a, a hint of what the application is and you can see this is system update necessary and then the command when I click on it because by default when I click on it it just closes it but in this case I want the command to actually be just echoing to the terminal update the system if I run that you're not going to see the SysTray again but now I've got a different icon the update icon if I click on it it's going to echo in this case to the terminal here updating the system and let me kill that from running now what I'm doing with the DTOS welcome app, you know, I'm not using an about uh, style dialog or a calendar or the app, which was the run launcher. And of course, it's definitely not a notification style window that sits on a SysTray. This is more of a general kind of window that there are a lot of various general flags and options you can give any window. For example, let me do a yad dash dash let's do image equals and I'm going to have this image equal dialog dash question if I can type if I just do that without any other flags or options we get a window we get the question image and we get OK and cancel this is kind of like the default window clicking OK just kills the window if I would have clicked cancel it would also kill the window they uh, exit with different exit codes one's exit code zero one's exit code one and if I want to do even more with this yad window let me clear the screen I'm going to paste this lengthy one liner and this time I'm going to do yad dash dash title warning uh, I'm not going to have a title to the window because I use a tiling window manager there are no title bars to my windows but if you were using a standard like desktop environment that had title bars with you know your minimize and close buttons and everything then in the center of the window where you typically have the program name the program name would be warning right the title then image dialog question again and then we're going to set some text in this case I'm going to do text is is Microsoft Windows detected would you like to replace it with Linux question mark right so just an example of something you can do and then we're gonna add buttons so we're gonna have two buttons again and I'm going to have them be the yes and no buttons yad yes and it equals a exit code of zero and then yad no is going to have an exit code of one now you could actually set other commands to these so you could actually uh, give the buttons a title and then colon and command you know a specific command to run so you can do other things with these buttons but if i run this you can see i get a a window with the icon that i specified with the text i specified microsoft windows detected would you like to replace it with linux yes or no if i click yes we get exit code zero and everything closes now in the case of the dtos welcome app you know i've got a little bit more stuff going on here this would be hard to just write as a one-liner at the command line so this needs to be written as a proper script so what i did is i wrote a script for it obviously let me go into emacs this is the script and you know it's not very lengthy it is about 47 lines long but if you ignore the comments at the top which are about 15 lines of comments plus this function here this export function that you not necessarily needed here it's really realistically i could write this in about 25 lines of bash right it's basically the yad command right we're going to execute yad it's going to be dash dash form is the style of the window. I give it a title. Welcome to DTOS. I give it a height and a width. I center the window. I have text aligned to the left. I set a icon. I set the borders. I set an image. I set all of this. And matter of fact, let's actually look at the window while I explain this so we can actually see what is going on here. So the image is this image right here, DTOS, right? And we've got text and in the text I do some styling you can see like some HTML tags here where I set the font to be bold and a certain size now that is welcome to DTOS good news slash Linux and then I just have some plain text here after it and so this is all part of this dash dash text equals so dash dash text equals and then quotes that's the opening quote that's the closing quote right everything else is all of this text you see stylized with some HTML including the link to my patreon and then we get into more flags and options after that dash dash columns equals four so we got four columns of information for the buttons uh, dash dash align buttons and then dash dash field equals 
and this is where the buttons are so they're fields and let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see this let me move the application out of the way so dash dash field equals and then inside the quotes here what are we doing well the first thing I'm doing is I'm setting a text field so a label appearance is the first button you can see appearance right here and then we have exclamation point and then after the exclamation point should come the icon if you want to use an icon and I set the icon to be this particular appearance icon here and then another exclamation point as a separator and then the next thing that comes would be a description so if I hover over appearance we get a hint that says change GTK theme and icons so you got the two exclamation point so it's a separator so it's the label it's the icon and then it's the uh, description the hint and then colon fbtn so field button right now what does it need to do give it a command to execute in this case when I click on appearance here in the DTOS welcome application it launches LX appearance right so that is what that button does and then you know, it's the same for all the others they have a label a icon and then a command they run for example change the default shell it's gonna launch a terminal it's gonna run a specific script that I wrote to change the default user shell on the system if that's what you want to do update the system it's gonna run a do as pacman dash syu if you want to update your system and for whatever reason you didn't know how to do that using pacman because again some users of DTOS may not be familiar with how Arch Linux works Auto start programs, I believe, is one of my custom uh, DM scripts. Yes, it is. Let me go ahead and quit out of that. And all of these do something. Wallpaper would launch Waypaper to change the wallpaper on the system. And finally, we have the exit button, which just exits out of everything. So you can see dash dash button. So this is not part of the fields, the, the field buttons. If I once again do uh, welcome. The reason this button is off by its side is because we can have this group of fields here. It's part of a form. So these field buttons. And that you can also have the buttons at the bottom too. So like your OK button or quit button or exit button. In this case, I'm doing exit. And the button is GTK cancel. So exiting, uh, canceling out of a program. What does it need to do? Exit code one is what it does. So that is my welcome application. And it's rather simple. Like this seriously just took, I don't know, I bet I played with this for about 30 minutes or so, you know, to get the layout and everything right as far as what I wanted to do with the welcome app. Uh, you know, I've got some things I'll probably add to it along the way. But this was dead simple to create because of YAD. If I actually had to create a GTK app the traditional way, creating a GTK window and filling it with buttons and having to create custom functions to do certain things so the buttons do things. And I've made videos. I've made several videos in the past about how to create GTK applications. I've written GTK apps using Haskell. I think I did some in Python. I actually done some cute applications as well using Python. And you know, it, it's time consuming, especially for something that really should just be a very simple program, you know, a script that could be written really in just a few minutes so i am loving yad i love this yad guide on the internet that explains all these windows and there are plenty of examples of yad yeah you know, like if you want an example of like a yad form dialogue or a, a yad list dialogue or a table dialogue whatever it is you're looking for there are plenty of example yad scripts on the internet yad is very popular these days as far as with people looking to create very simple GUI applications. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. And of course I'm talking about Matt Steve, 40 Millimeter, Cap Caveman, Darloff Lee, Jersey Killer, Mark Methos, Erion Paul, Peace Arch and Fedora, Riala, Teats for Lust, Red Prophet, Roland, War Gento, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This quick look at YAD dialogue apps would not have been possible. The show's also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work, want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software like YAD, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.